Welcome back to our discussion. In this video, we're going to focus on two things. We're going to look at the angle addition postulate and what that says. And then we're also going to look at how betweenness is interpreted for angles. Okay, so let's start with the angle addition postulate. Um, I think that you will recognize this and maybe you didn't even know there was a name for it, but there is, and here it goes, right? If D lies on the interior of angle ABC, then we can say this. The measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC will always equal the measure of angle ABC. Now, that's a lot of letters, and let's actually apply them to a drawing that we, so we can kind of wrap our heads around this idea. Here is a diagram. This top diagram is a diagram that illustrates what's going on with all these letters. This is saying that D is on the interior of angle ABC. Remember we said D was on the interior if, or any point is on the interior if, I could draw a segment from side to side of the angle and go through D. Now, the way this is drawn, a segment would not really go that way, right? But if I extended those rays, which we know rays are extendable because they go infinitely in that direction, we could definitely do that. D is on the interior of angle ABC. If that's true, then the measure of angle ABD, this small angle, plus the measure of angle DBC, this small angle, will equal the measure of the whole thing. So we will use this a lot in examples like this. Um, let the measure of angle ABD be, ABD be um, 49 degrees. And let the measure of angle DBC be uh, 39 degrees. So if the measure of angle ABD is 49 degrees and the measure of angle DBC is 39 degrees, what then is the measure of angle ABC? And we could just add those two angle measures together and we would get our and we could definitely say then that the measure of angle ABC is 49 degrees plus 39 degrees, which is 88 degrees. Okay. Now what I have here on the bottom is another example I just kind of made up. The diagram is going to be used to illustrate how we can use this in a slightly more complicated way. Let's say that I have a diagram like this. I have line PQ and I have um, ray QV extending from line PQ and it makes a right angle, all right? I know that the measure of angle SQR is 38 degrees. I also know that angle VQT is congruent to angle TQS. I would like to know what the measure of VQT is, okay? so. We're gonna to have to employ a little bit of logic here and, and the angle addition postulate. I know that this side is 90 degrees. Well, that would mean that this side is 90 degrees because we have um, a ray that's perpendicular, forms a 90 degree angle with this line. Now, if this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees and these two are the same, I know this is 38 degrees. All three of these together must equal 90 degrees. I'm gonna use both algebra and the angle addition postulate because if I know this is 90 degrees and I'm really saying that this plus this plus this is gonna be 90 degrees. Well, let's just assign variables here. So we could just say this is gonna be X and X, right? Because those are I could say x degrees plus x degrees plus 38 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And then I, so if I subtract that 38 degrees and I combine those like terms, I have two x degrees is equal to 52 degrees. Divide out the two and I would end up with x is equal to 26. Um, if you're just a more visual person, you might just say, okay, this whole thing is 90 degrees and this piece here is 38 degrees subtract that away to get 52 degrees. What's left is two congruent angles. We can say that each of them would have to be 26 degrees then. One is using algebra and the other is using just visual logic. 
So we discussed between us and how when a point was between two other points, um, it meant a couple of things. It meant that the three points were distinct, they were collinear, the distance between the first two plus the distance between the second and third would equal the distance between the first and the third, okay? So similarly, we can apply this to rays. And um, it really goes back to what we just did with the angle addition postulate. So these two things are really closely related. Let's say I've got three rays. I've got ray BA, BD, and BC, okay? I can say that ray BD is between rays BA and BC if this is true. The measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC is equal to the measure of angle ABC. So we're back to this kind of situation. Here are the rays, uh, BA, BC, and BD. So we can say that ray BD is between BA and BC if the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC is equal to the measure of angle ABC. So what does that really imply? That would imply that D is on the interior of angle ABC, right? And then we're back to the angle addition postulate. 